What up, world? It's we're 18 back at it again. Welcome to episode 88. Um, thank you guys for watching me. If it's your first time, go back and check my other videos out. Maybe you'll find something you like. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I truly appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, thank you to people who've been watching me from the beginning. I uh, appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching my videos and helping me grow and helping me do better videos, your comments and all that stuff. I truly appreciate it. Keep them coming. Um, like I said, this is episode 88. So today's episode is going to be uh, something I um, I noticed the other day. I was watching something and they said uh, they was talking about actors who uh, played on TV shows and who also won a war, uh, an Oscar. And um, I didn't realize that Robin Williams won an Oscar. I forgot he was in Good Will Hunting um, and he was on Mork and Mindy. So um, this video is going to be... Um, Actors talking about actors that I actually watched uh, who were in T who started off in TV and then um, went to movies and won an Oscar. Um, I got like seven people, but there's been a bunch of people. Um, but I, most of the shows I didn't watch um, way before my time. But these are some of the well-known actors and some of the people that I've actually watched there. Um, remember seeing them on the, these regular shows or whatever. Uh, there's no particular order. It's not like a top five lists or nothing. It's just any order I wanted to do. Um, so with that being said, the first one is George Clooney. Um, so he started off on as a, a recurring character on the Golden Girls, which I watched, which I loved. Um, he was on Roseanne. I remember him on Roseanne because he dated um, Roseanne's sister, uh, another show I loved. But he, he became super famous when he was on ER as a, one of the doctors on ER. Which I actually watched. I watched actually I watched all his shows. Um, so I, I really have followed his his career or whatever. Um, so he won two Oscars, which surprised me. I didn't even know he won two Oscars. His first Oscar was for 2006 Best Supporting Actor for Syriana, and um, he won a producer Oscar for a uh, producer Best Picture for Argo. Um, I didn't even know he won an Oscar for Argo. Argo. I didn't even know he produced so. He got two Oscars under his belt after starting off on TV. Um, the next one is everybody knows uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, I remember seeing him in the final season of Growing Pains because I used to watch Growing Pains growing up a lot. So he was in the final season of Growing Pains. Uh, he's been nominated for a bunch of Oscars. He got one Oscar win and he won the Oscar for Best Actor for The Revenant. Um, I didn't like that movie. That movie was not good. He should have won for several other movies that were better, but he finally got his. So... Um, Starting from Growing Pains and winning that uh, Oscar for Revenant, not bad. Um, the next one, as everybody probably already knows, my favorite actor of all time, Denzel Washington. Um, he started off on St. Elsewhere. I remember the show as a little kid coming on, but I don't remember um, Denzel Washington in it particularly. But I remember it being on in the house from time to time. Maybe my mom was watching it or something. Um, but like I said, I don't remember him in it. So, But he was in it. Uh, he uh he won two Oscars since then. Uh, the first one for 1989's Best Supporting Actor, Glory, which I love, one of my favorite all-time movies. Um, and Training Day, which he won an Oscar for in 2002. He got nominated for a bunch of Oscars, but he should have won from Malcolm X. He got robbed. I'll continue to say that. Um, Al Pacino won for Sitting a Woman, which nobody cares about, nobody remembers, but he did win two two um two uh best supporting two two uh Oscars. So best actor for Training Day and best supporting for uh, Glory. Uh, he deserved to win for Malcolm X. I'll never stop saying that. Um, the next one is, everybody knows this, uh, Monique. Um, she was on the Parkers for over 100 episodes. And uh, she won best supporting actress for Precious. Uh, I think she was the first comedian to win an Oscar. Nope, no, she wasn't. My bad. Um, she was the first comedian woman to win an Oscar. Uh, so she won for Precious, which is a... Unbelievable movie. She was so bad in that movie. Like, she deserved the Oscar for that movie. Uh, the next one is Jamie Foxx. We all know him from A Living Color, where, where he started off as. That's where I remember him from. And Jamie Foxx Show, which was a funny show. Uh, at least the first three episodes. The first three se seasons were good, funny shows. Um, but he has one, one Oscar win um, for uh, Ray. 2005 Best Oscar for, Os Actor for Ray. He also got nominated that, that year for um, Collateral. I think he was the first Oscar to be nominated for Best Actor and Best Supporting in the same Oscar. So he didn't win, of course, for Collateral. He was ex excellent in Collateral, by the way. 
Um, but he won for Ray, which he did a fantastic job. I love that movie. I love the musical, musical type movies. It was a great story. He portrayed Ray. Even Ray, before he died, said he portrayed him in a, a good light. So um, Jamie Foxx won Oscar win for uh, Ray. And the last one is uh, Robin Williams. He started on Mork and Mindy, Mork and Mindy R.I.P. Robin Williams. Uh, he has one Oscar win, Best Supporting um, Actor for Good Will Hunting, uh, which is a movie I still haven't seen, even though it has one of my other favorite actors in it, Matt Damon. Uh, I need to get on that and watch that movie. Um, but another, a couple other people that won Oscars that was on TV shows, Viola Davis. Um, she was on um, How, to, uh, How to Get Away with Murder, 2015. But she started off as an actor. She didn't start off, she didn't start off as TV. Um, she won an Oscar uh, for um, Fences in 2010. Um, and then they had a bunch of uh, a bunch of actors that I really don't know. Like, um, give me one second. Uh, Melissa, Melissa Leo. Uh, she was on Homicide: Life in the Street. Uh, Life in the Streets. I never wa watched that show. Um, but she won an Oscar, Best Supporting Oscar for The Fighter in 2010, which is a good movie. The Oscar is a good movie. Um, and that's all I got for this episode. Um, I thought it was a fascinating subject. Um, you never know what TV actors is going to make it big when they leave their shows to try to um, do movies. And those were some of the um, actors that I found that have won an Oscar from starting off on TV. Uh let me know if you have any, uh, if, if I missed anybody or if, if uh, anybody you know that you think should be, uh, that's up and coming, that's on the TV show, that's going to like branch out and do movies, if they're eventually going to win an Oscar. Um, like I said, that's all I got for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate it. You can on anybody else's channel and decided to watch mine, so thank you very much. Um, uh, no matter what time, day or night uh, you're watching, thank you. Um, that's it. Have a good one and I'll get that to y'all on the next one. Later.